uh, first off, Tiago, this is a home fight for you. Um, did you ask to be in this card? I did, I did actually. I think uh, I found out about the card uh, at the end of October. Yeah. So I hit up uh, Sean Shab and said, dude, you got to put me in. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm the hometown guy and uh, I'm pretty sure I can pack the house. So, and he did. Awesome. And going into it, I think that when we talk about home fights, there are two sides, right? Of course, you want to have the crowd on your favor and you get to have probably more people that you know there. But at the same time, there's a little bit of that added pressure you could say so how are you going about this like where is your mindset are you excited maybe a little bit you know more anxious I'm super excited you know I pressure just comes with the territory in our business you know uh, I think it's a privilege to be able to fight home you know uh, with MMA being so popular right now you know when I left here and I was not even close to what it is today you know so I'm super excited I'm very well prepared you know and I know I'm gonna get the victory do you think that the crowd, we know that the Brazilian crowd is loud. And, you know, fighters are like, like to be like, oh, I don't care about the crowd. I don't, but they can be a little hostile. Do you think that it could be uh, something that plays in your favor, that they're going to be with you and really against him probably? Absolutely. You know, I think the energy that, you know, uh, they're going to put out there, I'm going to be able to, you know, capitalize and throw everything at Max Griffin, you know, and mm -hmm. capitalize on the energy. So I'm, I'm excited. You know, I think it's going to be a, a great night for all Brazilians. Speaking of Max Griffin, he's an interesting guy to analyze, right? Aggressive, has some really good wins, but then he struggles with, I guess you could say, consistency, right, in the octagon. So um, just by what you're able to watch from him and just study, how do you see him as an opponent? Ah, he's a very good opponent, you know, like you said, very aggressive, uh, got a, a great gas tank, you know, but I think I'm the perfect matchup for him, you know, I think I'm going to be able to uh, capitalize on all his mistakes, you know, and make him pay for it and uh, get him out of there. You are coming off, um, we know two losses, but then you took on tough guys, guys who were, in, I think the last guy was undefeated, yeah. and Melander was coming off this really good streak, and these are the most dangerous fights, right, because they are people that people don't necessarily know about, uh, they're not that well known, and they're dangerous, yeah. and you took them on, nonetheless, you took really big risks. Uh, at this stage of your career, Tagle, do you, when you take on a fight, What's your approach about matchups? Are you the type of guy that you see the name on the contract, you don't care, you take the fight, or do you try to, you know, how do you, how do you balance your, your matchmaking process at this point? So it's very simple, you know, the same with the contract, I'm going to sign it, you know, uh, I'm, I'm old school, you know, I've been around very, very long time, and I think uh, as a professional, you got to always try to be your best, you got to always try to improve, you got to always try to yeah. learn, you know. So trying to pick and choose opponents, you know, uh, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I think if, if you're prepared, if you're ready, you know, you trust yourself, you should be able to fight anyone, you know. Uh, probably wouldn't, wouldn't be so smart to take that fight against Melendez, you know, three weeks after being prepared for a guy totally yeah. different from his fighting style, you know. My last fight, uh, the guy was undefeated, and I was fighting yeah. a Russian in his hometown, but I think I won the fight, you know. Yeah. I won everything but the last minute and a half, you know. But fighting a Russian in, in Russia is just, you know, you, you got to literally, you know, kill him to get the, <laughs> the, the, the victory. A decision is just not going to happen. So I knew uh, where uh, I was, you know. I knew the situation I put myself in so I can really, like, bring the, the, the fight, bring my best, you know. Yeah. So... I'm excited, you know, and no, I'm, I don't believe in choosing opponents. Yeah. And the, so how do you feel going back? You're such an experienced guy and you kind of like been through everything. You've been through the winning streaks and the title shot and the losses. So at this point, I think that's you're probably used to all of it. But uh, going into it, this fight off back to back losses, um, do you feel like your back's against the wall in any way or do you try to not even have that in your mind at this point? I've been here before, you know, and unfortunately I lost more times in my career than I would like to, you know, but it's just another day, you know, uh, that's in the past and I'm looking forward and the best way to vanish, you know, whatever's going on, all the two losses is to get a win yeah. and no better way to break this curse of inconsistency, you know, in my home, uh, in Fortaleza, you know, so I'm, I'm super excited to go out there and just do my best, you know, and, and get that victory. At this point, like you said, you've been through it all, you've done it all, you've, you're a respected fighter at this point of your career, but how do you um, keep the passion? What makes you want to keep doing this? Like you probably don't have to, you're a trainer now and everything, but uh, what keeps that flame of fighting alive for you? 
I just love what I do, you know. I, I, I was very blessed to, to build a beautiful life, you know, out of fighting, out of kicking ass. You know, that's pretty awesome. And I still have the passion. I'm still learning, you know, being inside an American top team. It's a lion's den every day, you know. Every time you step in there, you're going to have world-class fighters, you know, pushing you. So that hunger is still there, you know. When that hunger is not there anymore, then maybe I'll retire. But I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, hungry for, for that victory, that crave of getting my hand raised. And that's, that's what I fight for, you know, for that, for that victory, that thrill of, you know, being uh, a, a better guy and you know, being, being the victorious that night. You did mention he's aggressive, you're aggressive. How do you see this fight going on Saturday? I think I'm going to put him away on the second round, you know. I think I'm going to drop him and then I'm going to uh, submit him.